constant attack of Fulani headsmen on innocent people have been the trending issue for days now. Although it is not all Fulani headsmen that are bad, but because the crimes committed by them are on the high side and are rising, it has made people to generalize it. And it is what it is. Amanda Kano has just reacted to another incident involving the Fulani headsmen. Though it is only the Southwest farmers that cried out initially, but the whole region has taken it up. Some governors in the Southwest has even abolished open grazing, while some has restricted the movement of headers in the states. Just recently, the popular human rights activists, Mazi Namdekano and the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, took to his official Twitter page to address the farmer headers crisis. Namdekano tweeted saying, if it's true that these headsmen are mainly looking for the green pastures of the south to graze, why then did they abandon the expansive green pastures of the north? that lie fallow in the lower Sahel. Don't believe the hype. They are not headers. They are terrorists in disguise. He said, if it is true that these headsmen are men looking for greener pastures of the south to graze, the question now is why then did they abandon the expansive green pastures of the north that lie fallow in the lower Sahel? That is a very, very huge question. Why did they leave? Why did they leave the green pastures in the northern part of the country? Why did they leave the greener pastures in the north? The truth remains that they are terrorists in disguise. Do not believe them and Ambekanu has warned. This is a special message to the people of the south. Well, so many headers had said that they are only in other states because they are in search of a better pasture for their cattle and cows. And in the process, some of them are damaging some farmers' works. In one of the interviews that was held with Sunday Buhu, he said, enough of the atrocities committed by the headsmen. He has even chased them out of his own community in Oyo State. Namdekano said that there are lots of grass in the north, but they chose the southeast and the southwest because of their ulterior motives. However, it remains to be seen if there's going to be a change based on the outcry by so many uh, people from the southern part of the country, both the southwest and the southeastern part of the country probably the outcry will make them to change or to um, readdress some of these issues. It is what it is. But let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it were. Absolutely true, says Mr. King K. Those are not headers nor bandits. They are terrorists with the aim of conquering the South and the Christians. Guys, do you agree with this particular new story? Well, to a very large extent, you know, even if one do not seem to, or do, even if it is not looking like it, but from the look of things, or from the critical assessment and scrutiny of the situation of things, one may have no, you know, other reasons but to agree with Mazi Namdekano on this particular one. You know, these guys are truly truly trying to carry out the ulterior motive that they probably have there is an agenda there is a mission there is a plan and from the look of things they are seeking to carry out such plan such agenda you know against the people well it is what it is what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue mazi obi says they can't deceive anybody anymore. 
because their job don't cast. Everyone has woken up and own eyes are wide open. Fulani, it is now cross and die. Well, it is what it is. Eyes are beginning to open. Don't forget that Nambikano had warned about this, you know, so many times, but it's as if people did not listen. People never believed him. People never took him serious. But right now, it is beginning to uh, happen, and uh, everybody is beginning to see things by themselves. People are saying that there is an agenda hidden somewhere that these people are probably carrying out as it were. There's a, either a Fulanization agenda or there's an Islamization agenda. All to the, all towards the end of taking over or dominating the southern part of the country. They have already conquered the houses. So they are gradually looking to conquer the southwest and the southeastern part of the country. Like Kenan Bekanu says, don't fall for it. Don't be deceived. These guys are not just headsmen, but they are terrorists in disguise. Terrorists with a specific agenda to dip the Quran into the Atlantic Ocean and they are advancing the fierce determination. Only hashtag Biafra exit will put an end to it. Well, guys, what are your thoughts? Do you think that, you know, the people of the South will be able to resist this agenda to a very large extent? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. But the earlier, you know, the people from the South begin to understand this and see this as the true agenda of this Fulani headsman, the better for everybody in the southern part of the country. You know, they are beginning to wage war against the people of the South. And this is because the people of the South are resisting their uh, takeover or their advances. So care has to be taken, and uh, be that as it were, we must, as a matter of urgency, we must, as a matter of uh, priority, ensure that they must not succeed in their bid. They must not succeed in carrying out their hidden agenda. Now that the agenda has been exposed, the agenda is out there for everyone to see. Avoiding that agenda would be the way forward right now as it is for people to rise up against them and uh, fight. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning what Nabekano has said? Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.